The patient's name is Harvey, and he is very, very sick. In his short lifetime, Harvey has contracted 20 heart ailments. Actually, Harvey is the first production model of a cardiology patient simulator designed to train medical students in the diagnosis of heart disease. The students who are assigned to cardiology for four or eight weeks obviously have a very finite period of time in which to cover the basics of cardiovascular disease. So the mannequin, uh, by its continuous availability and by uh, having the ability to call up any disease at virtually the touch of a button, uh, provides those convenient factors which allow the student to see all of these disease processes in a short period of time. Harvey's heart is a network of wheels, pistons, and electronic components programmed by tape cassettes. On a moment's notice, Harvey can contract anything from hypertension to a blockage in the coronary artery, and he'll display the appropriate blood pressure, respiration, heart pulsations, and sounds. Also, with each ailment, there is a complete patient history and a set of lab tests to aid in the diagnosis. Harvey doesn't replace the uh, patient in the student's cardiac education, but in the past, uh, they had to rely on the luck of the draw, who was available, which patients were, happened to be in the house uh, and weren't too sick to be examined and were available for bedside rounds, weren't off getting tests, etc. And this was more or less a hit and miss proposition. Harvey is the most sophisticated of today's patient simulators, but experts say eventually dummies will be doing more and more to make doctors smarter. I'm Hank Philippi. This is To Your Health.